Well, there's been a national push for police reform since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Today, Congress hit an impasse. Senate Democrats say they're opposed to the Republican plan, calling it inadequate. However, Indiana Senator Mike Braun is now proposing a plan of his own. We talked with it. Uh, we talked with him with Alan Carter. As calls continue for police reform, a federal push coming from what may be considered an unlikely source. This is an issue that Republicans, as a rule, just generally aren't willing to talk about. Indiana Senator and Republican Mike Braun introducing legislation that aims to reform qualified immunity for police officers. Qualified immunity can't be a shield that is impenetrable. That someone that went through what George Floyd did, his family should have the ability to, without hurdles and resistance, you know, try to seek uh, fair recompense for it. Qualified immunity often shields government workers, especially officers, from personal civil action. Most police officers are judgment proof. They're not threatened by a monetary judgment. They Dr. Phil Stinson is a professor at Bowling Green State University who also tracks arrests of law enforcement officers. Whether it's civil or criminal, he says getting a judgment against an officer is a tall order. It is very difficult, even in those cases where there's strong video evidence. It's very difficult for a prosecutor to obtain a conviction. Moves to make change will likely come with pushback from police unions and other legislators, something Braun says he's okay with. In life, you've got to stick your neck out, take a few risks. I'm not doing this to build a career at it. I'm going to use whatever seems to make sense from that vast reservoir of experience and wherever that moral compass is pointing. Now, we reached out to the Indianapolis Police Union today. Leaders are telling us they haven't heard directly from Braun about his proposal yet, but they are hopeful he'll want their input.